Okay, on the bottom section, we have this bearing here, and it's in a bearing support, and that supports one end of this hydraulic pump and PDO drive shaft. And you remember we had a needle bearing at the other end. So this goes in with the square shoulder here towards the back where it's supported in the housing and then it has a tin cover over the top so to get the bearing out here we just need to pop him out like that I'll go and put that in the press and get that out and we have the bearing here with tin on both sides we'll probably take tin off one side and the number for that is S can you see that? 18058 it's a 6208 bearing so that's a common bearing to find so I'll just go and swap these bearings over and I'll be back in a moment. Right, we have the bearing pressed in and I've left the tin on the outside. Might help it stop leaking a bit, who knows. And on this, on my book it just shows a gasket but there's an O-ring there as well. Like you can see a flattened out O-ring. So I'm going to leave that there. Um, well no, look, I think I might take it away because this gasket it won't sit with so I'll probably pop that off and give that a bit of a clean up that's quite hard and I couldn't see one of them to fit in the books that I had but um, there's probably different books for different different things so I'll just go and get rid of this for a second okay I've taken that off now it looks like this back gasket will fit nice and neatly and if we have a flat surface here as long as that tin plate's okay and look it appears to be there may be a mod for that that I'm not aware of because there's a lot I don't know about these old masses but anyway we just learn as we go a bit so once again a bit of the favourite black goo now when you're pushing this housing on that centre shaft will probably come back on you that's okay because while the tractor's split, we can um, pop that back forward again. Bit of goo. You'll notice the gaskets are two different sizes. I'll sit this one in there. These are Sparex items once more. That looks good. Okay, now. There doesn't appear to be a top or a bottom way on this, but I've noticed they've always had the bolts at the sides. So if we bring that down, And that back shaft has just gone back a little bit, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. We're happy with that. And we'll just try and line up a couple of these little bolts. That's why I've got the gasket on this plate here too, so we can actually turn the plate and not worry about damaging the gasket if it was on the back. So we'll just tighten this up squarely is what we're looking for. bolts in just to we can adjust it then as we go in
Now, see our shaft in the centre there? I'm going to try and line that up if I can. To back this off, I've gone a little bit skew with by the feel of it. started there. Well just a little tap at the back there that's got that bearing started. Now there is a there is a UNF thread there where you can slide this back and pull that shaft forward with a slide home, you know bumping forward or um, I've even had a bolt in there and used a pry bar on the side here and brought it forward. So now we've got that started, we should be good. We've got black stuff running down the back here, but look, that's fine. It's just a bit thick. It's hard to get it on thin when it's such a tarry, tarry mess at the moment. So for the moment we just have that firm. Now, I might be able to wind that over and show you the other end. But look, if you haven't got the back split, you'll have to bring this housing over the top of that bearing and pull it through anyway but if because we don't need to worry about that we won't bring it over further okay this shaft here i'll bring this in you might hear a bit of rain on the roof it's just starting to Come in now. And this is that bottom shaft and you can see it has to go in a little bit further yet. So we'll just Okay, so we've gone around the world in 80 days here. Right, we're back in frame. How about that? Now, there's a circuit groove here for a small snap ring. You can really hear the rain coming in now. I'll we'll probably have to stop filming shortly. But we should have room for a washer on the bearing there to give us a nice flat surface. And then the circlet, the external circlet. Right, and you can feel that's, that's just clicked in nicely.
Right, you're still in frame. I'll bring the light over a little bit further. That might help. Now we can undo all of this again. So that shaft can't possibly go back anymore. We've got a captive here. It can't come forward because of the um, shoulder on the shaft. Like I say, there's other ways of doing this. It's just this is how I chose to because we have it out and we have the availability of both ends of the gearbox. So. so we'll find our black tacky glue again. Yeah, gosh, you bloody thick. Should do the job really well, this thick stuff. It's a bit too much I'm putting on, but it's just how it is. You put out as much you're comfortable with. Really, if you're relying on the gasket glue to do your sealing, well, you're not doing the job properly. You shouldn't really need much. But anyway, I've got it here and I've I've always used it here, so I suppose old habits, one of those things. Now what I have to check, which I haven't done just yet, yeah those holes are open down in there, so when we put this back on, All these bolts are going to have a nice bit of Loctite on them to seal them up. So that'll seal them. Whoop. That'll seal the threads from any oil coming up the threads. Okay, we should be able to tighten all this right up now before the Loctite sets. Now this Permatex, that leak there, or the, the spilt Permatex, the excess, that can be wiped off with a petrol rag or a, a little brush with a bit of petrol in it. That's all nice and tight. Okay, that's it now. With gearboxes, always make sure they'll turn for you. After every little step, make sure everything turns. Okay, that's it. That's putting on the um, lay shaft support housing on the front there. Now we can pop the PDO, oh PDO, pop the um, the main throw out shafts and all that in. And once we flip him over and come around the top here, 
we should be able to, if I pull the camera up a little bit for the next video, we should be able to put in some selectors and do that part. Right, just before we move on from doing the lower shaft there, I'd like to clear something up that um, I'll probably get picked on. Now, now um, we bashed the shaft through from the back, and that was this shaft here, and we just popped him up through the bearing so the bearing was clear for this housing here. Now, I'm doing a one of here. Um, it's not my daily bread and butter doing these old Fergies up. It's just something I choose to do. But look, if you were doing a heap of them, rather than bumping the bearing and perhaps bruising the bearings out here a little bit, um, if you have a washer and you machine the centre out of the washer and you can screw that down, this bolt has to be long enough to pick up the thread there, and you screw that down and that actually forces on the inside of the bearing here and that'll start drawing that through. And the shoulder here, um, you actually have to, as you go, you add washers here all the time um because the bolt ends up getting too long for you and that way there you can actually draw this shaft up through while you're supporting the inner bearing and you can bring it up nice and solid so in the end the top of the shaft is in your circlet grooves clear of the bearing here so look this this is the preferred way but i was just doing the one of and i thought oh i've got it both ends i'll just bang him through but um if you've only got the front section to do and you can't get to the back, um, you can put this in the shaft. The shaft will be pushing up against the hydraulic pump at the rear and using this washer setup, that'll actually push this front housing down over the shaft. So I just thought I'd put that on the end of the video just to clear that up. Um, you know, while I was getting ready to put the selectors in, I thought, oh, well, I probably should probably should mention it. If I had a heap to do and I was a massive mechanic, I'd have one of these made and um, I was, you know, you could do the job quickly and easily. But there you go.